Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I've been sitting here between the rocks and I can hear it sounds like the planet's stomach grumbling. Of course, I won't do it now, but I'm uh, there. I don't know if that's going to come through or not, but yeah, it sounds like me when I'm hungry. Anyway, we are at 3 in the morning. Turn this on. Connor's just heading to sleep from building her crossbow over there. Um, last episode, I mentioned that there was a you know, rumored um, root vegetable somewhere in the game. And I know I read it somewhere. And I went searching everywhere. And I didn't find it. <laughs> but I found this. It is a densely leafed plant. That's the only other plant on the entire map that seems to be different from everything else that we've seen. So maybe we'll sneak up here soon and see what that means. Otherwise, we're just waiting for dawn, which should be popping here any moment. It's 4 a.m. It's interesting. Yeah, 4 a.m. would always be uh, orange, but it's not now. Yeah. Turn the speakers down a little bit there. So, I guess it's not going to get orange until 5 a.m.? It's still... Well, okay, it's just beginning now. So, it used to be 4 a.m. when it would do that. So, the days must have different lengths. So, when we get into winter, maybe it's going to be 8 a.m. before it, the sunrise hits. Anyway, we've got Edmund up and handling a furnace. Lost Harvest. Unpowered device. Yeah. And, um, yeah, soldering bench is waiting for the generator, which is waiting for some more fuel, which is halfway done. Okay, so Edmund is getting more bricks going, which we need to, boy, these are loud. Yeah, which we need to tear this fence out and put brick in. And I know that the bugs are attracted to the concept of gates. You open up the gate, that's where they want to go. So we could throw a gate across here and some and a pathway and some traps and lure them that way. That is that is a tactic. I've seen it in other playthroughs and it works good. I kind of like to see what this thing can do, but that's that's inevitably where we're going. We're going for some kind of a switchback pathway with a gate at the end. And us on the other side of the of the gate. Fall oh, falling. There it is. Oh boy. We got incoming. Yep. Oh, there went our There went our pumpkins. Oh. Alright, so more debris is still coming into this place. It's probably a big ship up there, and little by little, it's it's making its way, falling out of the atmosphere, or into the atmosphere, out of out of orbit. Edmund's taking a walk. We got our creepy little uh, kite over here. Yeah, if we sh should we ch change the name from Dragonfly to Kite, or should we just get him observed? You know what, Simon, how are you doing right now? You are. Your happiness is going up. You're in great shape. Can you just come on over here and observe this guy? Kind of driving me nuts. Simon is where? Uh, let's try that again. That's in the cube. Let's make it happen, right? Boy, you will not do it. Okay. And there's the... Uh... Oh, that's the hand pan I'm hearing this time. Interesting. Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. Lost harvest, so we're losing all of the um, the smoke leaf that we've got out here waiting for Rita to come harvest some of it. <clears throat> Just to kind of get our drying rack filled and have enough left over to put into tea. So we got to figure out just how to do that, or else we just turn the drying rack off once in a while so that it goes into tea. Could be. Alright, observing flying insect. Oh, so you're you're doing it from a distance. Ah, that's how we got the uh, the small reptile bird from a considerable distance. 
Okay, but he does it so quickly, we could get a lot of these mysteries solved real quick. Anyway, what is going on today that I need to be working on? <clears throat> I have dog circled, fridge, leather, wood. So there's a piece of leather out there from that uh, that hunt job. There's a still some wood way back over there to bring in. There's all of the hay left over here to bring in. And in fact, we could do both of those at once. I need an Edmund and a Rita. So what are you guys doing? Rita is doing the handling jobs right now. Kana is transporting something. She's emptying the uh, the meat. Okay. I bet she'll drop into handling too, so we could leave her to do that once Rita's done with this. Rita is filling up a, a uh, furnace to make bricks. Carter is constructing a roof. Oh, nice. Actually, get some roofs done. And Edmund is observing. I thought I had Simon do that. Okay, so, yep, I'm always going to mix up Edmund and Simon. You do this. Edmund is now available you're in good shape Simon is in decent enough shape okay Edmund you are coming out here and you are going to cut the rest of the blade grass and then haul the rest of that back Rita is going to finish this job and while you're here in fact oh got to get you to do that before Kana picks it up I need you to get the meat in your hand so dropping that off, Kana, I want you to just stand there a moment. Okay, need Rita to tame. Boy, we need a name for a dog, don't we? I have a feeling it's going to ask. Okay, you get just enough for that. And now, Kana, you go back to whatever you want to do, which is to empty this rack and, and lock it all up for a while. Okay, so Edmund's heading... That way, <clears throat> Rita's heading that way. Simon is going to finish the observing, and he does that so quick that what else is around here that we could have you observe real fast? Um, you are you. Let's observe you as well. Simon, why don't you come and get this guy done as well? Observe him. These should all be real fast jobs for you. Is there a third mysterious animal right there? Observe and Simon, when you're done with that, maybe you can chase this guy down. I can't get it to click. I cannot. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Observe him. We'll put all those in your queue and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so, Carter is picking up logs. Oh, and you're getting lots of them. Good. Can you, like, get them all? Uh, discovered a humming fly. A humming fly. He was kind of hovering like a hummingbird does, but I never made that connection. Interesting. Despite its somewhat menacing look, this big flying insect seems to be peaceful and easily scared. I decided to name it humming fly. It is worth noting, however, that in the rare cases when it gets enraged, its attack from afar, it attacks from afar and can fly over obstacles right so you can't keep it out with a fence okay in fact when they attack they I think they spit acid or something at you it gets that's why I put the roof on that uh, that structure okay so you didn't quite get it all so someone else has got to get the rest of that someday okay but over here Edmund is cutting all this stuff up uh, he didn't spook the dog that's good the dog is just out here waiting <laughs> okay let's see what happens here now she's got meat dried meat and he's tentative and maybe wanting to attack a little bit or is he just wanting to play we'll see here Edmund is working on the last he's transporting Edmund you're gonna finish the last piece and then you can transport all of it and she drops some food on the ground which you can only see when the camera's in that spot interesting there we go he's gonna walk over and give it a taste and decide whether or not he trusts us oh insufficient storage space for 
foods. Time out. We can't have that. Foods, I guess, moves over into this one as well now. Uh, cook foods can go there, and I guess they can go here. That'll all go away once we get the refrigerator up. Okay, back to Rita. Watching what's happening here. He's bringing in his 140. He's eating the food. Is he going to take the bait? And we have succeeded. All right. So you can now order survivors to lead the animal to a selected location. Depending on the animal, there are also options to allow the survivor to train or play with. Okay. So clicking on, we have healing. Training is off. If we turn training on, happiness. Okay. Health. I'm looking for some kind of training options. Rename, lead, pet, train. Oh, not ranching, but manage tamed animals. Ah, tame to heal. Oops. Allow forbid survivors to heal this an. Oh, not heal, but heal. <laughs> train. But what do we train for? Where are the choices? Train to sit? Train to attack? Okay, I feel like I'm missing something here. Is it to do with Rita? Rita train, feed, lead, slaughter. Okay, we'll just train and maybe there's just a set. Oh, 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 oh. And what was that? Just that you accepted us or that you have bonded. Was tamed in good health. Um, no sense observed by Rita on day 19. Rita, here. Okay, nothing about the dog there. Happiness. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here. Edmund almost walked over the new dog. Petting. I assume that's what... No, we're taming. Okay, we're still in the process. And now what are we doing? We're harvesting. Okay, well, there is the newest member of our clan. Uh-huh. The nameless dog. We'll have to work on a dog name soon. At least it didn't force me to come up with one right now. I'd have to pause the game for a while and stare at the screen and go, uh... Okay, you're getting tobacco leaves, which are good, because they're just kind of falling apart on us. And I was pretty much expecting a bug attack this episode. <clears throat> a glutch. Oh, that's what you are. And Simon, you are observing a flying lizard. Don't see it in the air. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think we're going to pass on that one right now. There's another one. Where are you going? Uh, yeah, there's probably no chance of that happening. <laughs> um, I will just peek over here. They probably roost in the evening. That's probably a much wiser time to try to tackle that. Evening or morning. Okay, so Simon, belay that order. Why don't you uh, find something? Yeah, research. Anything else to observe? Um, dare I send you up there to that little plant? You'd be the fastest one to do it. Your stats are not the greatest, but they're not bad. Do you, you don't have any interest in anything. Well, you're interested in crafting. And only craft, not so, or weapon, or anything else. Just craft. Okay, well then, Simon, let's get you to um, observe our wonderful shroom torch. And then when you've done that, come on up here and tell us what this is. And do we want to to plant a big, uh, big uh, plot of those? Okay. Oh, nope, that is a humming fly. Okay. Now, what did we learn about the glutch not a gulch a glutch 
The big bloated insect is a slow and usually peaceful herbivore, which I named Glutch. While not particularly dangerous, it secretes a corrosive substance which accumulates on its skin and is released as a toxic cloud when the creature shakes its body in fear. Engaging it from a safe distance seems like the best options. So, unlocks Glutch statue. Okay. I want to know if... Where did you go? Uh, small chance to retaliate when attacked. It's too primitive for domestication. So we can't really do anything with it. Um, is resistance to gas damage. So can we create gas damage somehow? I don't know. Okay. Well, my speakers just went loud again. That song's a loud, loud song. Or I've noticed when I put the game on pause that the sounds tend to... Uh, magnify or multiply or you know get bigger <laughs> this guy i'm watching him he's going straight up toward us yeah we gotta wait for them to roost okay so that was edmund that was rita she's over here now i'm gonna leave rita on um Planting, growing, farming, what have you, for a while. Well, there's a lot of rumbling going on. There he is. Clouds are building up. And I wasn't over at the furnaces hearing wind this time. So I am thinking that's a thunderstorm rolling in. Now it's gotten too quiet to hear anything. What is that noise? So, um... You? Something was back in the corner of my studio making lots of noise. Anyway, I've completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay. There it is. Just rain this time. Okay. I watched the last episode me trying to fight this thing in place and realized if I just move the dartboard and then move this guy rain but it's thunder interesting I wonder if they convert into each other but we could move this like so and get the job done probably like this that way they're inside when they're standing there so if that gets moved and kind of I'll have you do that for me as soon as you're done dropping that off and I did set Kana for construction Oh, and this is considered construction, and she just got a plus 18. Good. So, she actually has an interest in construction, and I didn't catch that last time. But that might now give me the space I need to put that refrigerator in. Um, is that storage? Where, what is that? That is storage. Okay. So, it still doesn't like this spot. Are you really four spaces wide? Oh, because you... Because... Oh, boy, that was weird. I, okay. Like the roof... I don't know what happened there. Um, oh, this must have taken the roof off. This thing's entrance is over on this side. So that won't work. So strike two on that one. So I need a, yet another place to put it. So if it's on this side, then this one must be on this side. Can I see that? Move? No, it's dead center. So if I went over here with it, would it let me? Okay, I think that is the answer. So that's over there, hand pans over here. Now what do we have? Storage, fridge, rotate, aha. Okay, <laughs> there's a will, there's a way. Oh, that was a little too complicated. All right, so with that there, we need to get this guy built and we are at 65%. How are we on bricks? How are we on hay? We have a lot of hay now. Okay, so how far do we want to go with the bricks? Um, 
let's see. If I were to do this, we've got 21 pull fence. So 63 bricks were needed. We have 47. 63 to replace all those fences. The gate is an integrity of 100 already, so no point in dealing with or changing that. Okay then. So another couple of rounds of bricks and we'll have enough for that, though if we keep this going. I've got one set for um, alloy though. And we'll leave that one going. Just keep slowly building up our alloy supply. Okay. So yeah, we'll keep building bricks. I, mean, I know carbon nanotubes make really good walls for a freezer too, but we're we're a ways away from that. Is that here? That's here. Carbon rooms. Um, no, we just need to find the nanotubes. And then we can use them. Ew. Well, we know where there's nanotubes. Speaking of way out there, Simon, how you doing? In the rain. Probably cursing me under your breath. Yeah, how you doing? You're average and dropping. What is all the noise? There is an animal out here that is... Well, besides him going, hmm... I don't see the animal. Was, I think it was like a pancoth. One of the birds just screeching as it went by. We're at 1800 and we're dark. Yeah, the days definitely are getting shorter now. Night came sooner this time. Which means we're going to get less done each day. Because of the darkness. Interesting. Okay, so we should already have roosting birds. What are you? While wow, you're up there high. I didn't expect to see you up that high. <laughs> any uh, any birds roosting in our trees for Simon to come down and observe? Or Edmund? Nothing yet. Okay. So how long to leave Simon up there? That was... It was late in the day when I sent him out, or in the afternoon, so he's he's probably not got a good chance of finishing it. Let's take him to 2000 and pull him back. He's got a long walk back home. Yeah. Otherwise, I haven't really watched what was going on out here today. Roof? Ah, uh, one. <laughs> 2000, so Simon, come on back. And you are probably grabbing some food. There you are. Yep, you you want a pumpkin pie, and I don't blame you. Okay, Rita is transporting... You know what I thought about? We have uh, dried smoke leaf. Not much, but we have some. Let's turn this thing off. Drying rack. Keep empty. And Rita, why don't you put this on a shelf somewhere? And we'll make tea out of it. Yeah. There's one way to force us to have some of each kind. So if we were to... Paulette, you are transporting. Oh, you ran out of room, so you're heading over here. Okay. You're now cooking. How are we doing? Can we make some tea? We've got food already. All right. So come on and make some tea for us. Uh, boil some tea. And there's a comment that I caught from an a series or an episode I saw of somebody else's that and we've 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 seen this ourselves when they make coffee they set it to boil then they go off and do something else and it, it takes quite a bit of time to gradually go through that timer that is a reason to have a second stove going they could then go and start working well on the other stove and continue cooking I thought that was quite uh, observant so let's go ahead and light and we can be making two things at once that way. Rita's getting something to eat. Kana is transporting, making... No, we're not making more bricks. What you doing? Oh, you just loaded up the fuel rather than... Okay. Yeah, fuels are all at different. They should just fill that one up right there. Okay. So, transporting, and... So, what is the 
banging. There was a lot of banging. Ah, uh, not that one. Oh, this one. Edmund is pounding away on our new refrigerator. Boom. Got it. Okay, you're constructing a floor. Connor, when you're done with that, I'm curious what you can do. Wait a minute, I just saw Edward Edmund constructing it. Oh, it's a door. Okay. Connor, can you construct the doors? Are you that far along? That is right here. She could. Okay. But she cannot make the walls or the floor just like Edmund cannot. Okay. Just curious to see where everybody's at. Alright, Simon's grabbing something to eat. Con is going to sleep. Carter's getting something to eat as well. So Carter and Simon can sit next to each other and, and get on each other's nerves like usual. Rita is harvesting in the middle of the night. Let's rethink your life there a little bit and come up with a new plan. Um, yeah, why don't you plant them? That's closer to home. you got to go to bed here in a little bit. No point in taking that walk. Paulette is handling a furnace. Did you... You did. They're getting there. And she is going to go make food on this one. So that does work. While that is cooking, she can still be doing other things. Okay, good. Um, claim to be better at darts than Simon. Yeah, these two just constantly go at each other. Uh, negative 30 now. And Simon, you're negative 42. They really don't like each other. I wonder, remember in RimWorld how two of the characters would suddenly get into a brawl? Just a knock-down, beat-up fight. I wonder if that happens here, because these two are heading in that direction. I can see that. Had a tasty meal. Really happy. Rita's planting the very thing she was going to go out and harvest. Um, I'm not paused. What are you doing? You're just kind of frozen there, huh? I think he glitched. Oh, there he goes. He was... He was... Apparently there's other characteristics to those guys that we don't know about. <laughs> Okay, now, ah, there you are. Observe you. Edmund, where are you at? You're all the way up there. Simon is researching. Simon, you're available. Ah, uh, there you are. I wonder if you can grab this guy. Where is he going to roost? He's going all the way up there. Never mind. Simon ignored me anyway. <laughs> is there anything else immediately in our area that has come into roost? I don't see anything in the rain stop, didn't it? New resource, tea. Oh, I didn't notice that. So we've got tea now. Um, let's... That's this one? That's this one. So I don't know. I have to get tea on a shelf somewhere. Can I see it here? No, I can't move down into there. I want to get it to highlight so I can read its qualities. Okay, we got you two in there. Looking for you? You. Yeah, observe you. Simon, draft, undraft. There. Oh, I have to wait for you to undraft. There we go. Simon. Oh, this is tough. I can't. Currently unavailable. Simon is still unavailable. There we go. Observe him. I have a feeling you will do that really quick. And then we can cross that one off our list. So you just kind of hang out there, okay? Don't go anywhere. And Carter, don't walk through here. Oh, you're petting the dog. Okay, Carter, let's lead the dog. Uh, how do I do that? Where is he? Are you petting the imaginary dog? Okay, where's our pooch? No. Um... Here, here, double click. There you are. Oh, you're calling him to you. 
Okay. Well, Carter, why don't you lead to um here? That didn't work. Okay, try that again. Carter. Where are you? Right here. No, that's that's a Simon. Where's the dog? <laughs> it's dark out. Right there. Okay. Carter. Lead. It says to use the left mouse button now, but that didn't work. So let's use the right mouse button to there. It gave me the same thing. So I don't know if he's going to or not. No, he's going to sleep. How do I get you to lead to there? Okay. Leading. So apparently that worked. Oh, and now you're going to bed. It didn't work. Okay. So Carter, one more time. Lead. And we'll try the left mouse button again. See if it does anything. I always miss that. Lead him to there. Does that work? You are now walking him in. Okay. So at least to be in camp now. We have to walk all the way out there to go pet him. Ah, that was exhausting. Now, Simon is observing the flying bird. And it's midnight, but he is pretty quick. We'll see how quick this really goes. Did you... He flew away. No, he didn't. Simon. There we go. Carter's going to sleep. So we've given up on the dog, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. And I can't just click on you and right-click out over here, can I? Like that? No. Heal, train, pet, lead. Can I do it this way? Oh, can I tell you to go to there? Okay, so maybe that's how it works. You set it ahead of time. But, oh, there's our bird in the tree. Okay, and he's almost finished. It's two in the morning. He's not going to be happy tomorrow, but uh, we will have it done. Okay, we've officially discovered Pankoths again. This parrot-like lizard feasts on animal carcasses, for lack of a better name, I will call him a Pankoth. These birds seem to be fairly common in the region. They nest on the trees and can be seen flying around in search of dead prey. Got quite a crown on him, huh? Um, it's probably not worth spending the time or effort to hunt them. They don't seem very meaty and fly away when you approach, making them difficult targets. Okay. Though they might be good shooting practice. Who knows? And no bug attack. Okay, well, we can see what everyone's up to now. Going to sleep and going to sleep. What did... Where did Rita come from? What was she up to? Who knows? I'm going to go over here and listen to all the planet's belly noises. There. Anyway, you guys can observe that. I'm going to take a look at my notes here. Okay, we still need to get those logs. And we need to get the leather back over there. Fridge is done. Kana should have a weapon by now. She does. The hay is done. And... Tobacco pipes and ore. I'm at the end of my, my page here, so I've got to wipe out this to-do list like that last time I did that. So I don't have to rewrite everything in the next page. So if we do not get a bug attack, we can send... Wow, it's noisy. So much noise. Yeah. We can send Edmund and Carter tomorrow out to grab ore. I, I found enough of it to... What time are we? Four in the morning? To be able to harvest some of it. I mean, uh, you know, mine some of it. I was up in here looking for plants. There's ore all over the place up in here. Whoa. There's the animals. 
22 ore hiding kind of scattered around this whole rock field out here. It's a long trip, but it can be done. I don't think you can botch it, like harvesting. So we could all of us come out here and just mine ore. Carter and Edmund would be able to do it the fastest, but then we'd all carry it home. Hmm, possibility. Anyway, we've got animals. We've got monsters coming. Aggressive bugs. Uh, 17 scarabai, 4 overgrown, and 2 explosives. You are coming in under the trees over here. So where's Pooch? That may be a problem. Yeah. You guys are just going to hover out over here for a while. Just slithering around. That happened at 5 in the morning. So... 11 a.m. That'll be done. Or that'll hit. Okay. Pooch is over here. I'm guessing somebody is going to lead him home soon. Uh, Edmund, maybe it's you. And like right now. So if I tell you to lead, not assigned to the activity. Can you do it though? And now it looks like it's it's something that can be done. Rita's not up. Uh, Paulette and Edmund. Okay. So maybe that's what I was lacking. Guys. Boy, they really want to know what I think about their game. I like the game. But to really get in there and critique it's going to take some time. Some things about the game are great. Some things could use some work. And I don't want to think about that so much. I had such a nice meal, says Edward. Okay, you go grab the pooch and get him out of danger. I have a feeling that they, he or she, I've never actually looked, male, that they, the bugs will consider our pets as enemies as well and go and, and kill. So, let's, mm, let's what? Let's think about that. I was going to lead the pooch to here. They might just come through the camp and attack. Hmm. I don't know how to deal with that. We may have to figure that out. I don't know. Huh. Do I have a closed structure yet? I do not. So we can't lock the pooch inside. Okay. Well, we're close. If we could just get the trees cut and get this finished. And just go get all that ore over there. And just, yeah, the list goes on. But we are pretty much into the fall. So we've got to get working on that more seriously than we have been. Okay, so Edmund leading Weimarainer. Mm -hmm. Got to come up with a better name. Mm, a takeoff on Noble or Rambler. What do we have there? We have Knob. No. <laughs> we have Rambo. Could. Yeah, Rambo's kind of a fun name for a dog. Hmm. Enjoyed beverage, food variety, taking a walk, eating, playing darts. A lot of fun happening right now. Um, Edmund is going to miss it all. Yeah. He's, he's got a duty. It is still 8 in the morning. Let's reset him, grab Rita. Rita, when you're done... Edmund, where's your name? Rita, when you're done... I expect there to be a dog next to you. Rita, when you're done, why don't you lead? Okay. No, Edmund, I did this so you can go down and get some relaxation before it's all gone. So come on over here and play some music. Turn off the fridge? What does that mean? It's not on. Well, it's not powered. Okay, I guess it means flip the switch. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> that kind of surprised me. Alright, 11 o'clock is our attack. So Rita's now... She's playing. I didn't get that wrong, did I? I wanted Edmund. I probably clicked the wrong thing somehow. I did. Okay, Edmund, you're on your own. I give up. Apparently I sent Rita to do that. 
Well, I do need Edmund in better condition before the attack yet, so I'll at least put it in his list. But Rita, when you're done, you are going to go find Pooch and lead him home. And it still says none. Leading. There we go. Okay. So you got nothing stacked after the leading is over. Okay. So Kana is doing all of our delivering right now, which seems a waste, but look at all the bricks we got stacked up as a result of all of her hard work. So I'm very thankful for that. Otherwise, activities. So she's got construct, but it's at the same level as handle. And deliver I've got on her as a one just to make sure it all gets done. We could do the same thing with Paulette. She kind of hangs around here. And Simon as well. So he also kind of hangs around here. Could deal with these kinds of things. Yeah. That would relieve Kana of having to do all of them. Okay. And then I would like to get her trained up in construction. She is a 1, Edmund is a 2, she's interested, so she will uh, skill up twice as fast. That's what we saw with Paulette and healing one time, I think. But, all that noise, whenever I pause, about to rot away two meals. And we've learned the answer to that is not quickly go and eat it. No, it's, it's actually you you and throw away yeah so get rid of it right now Carter don't eat it don't eat it all right so insufficient materials we've still the attack comes in in just a few minutes um, we've still got fuel we're missing and you are 89% so it takes quite a while to do that really does okay so Rita mm, I think we're going to reset your lead how do I do that click again lead to here and Rita will you readjust throwing away can you lead to out over there we're not gonna make it in time you're taking so long to get them there otherwise everybody else it's time to uh, to get down here especially anybody who might be further away now it looks like everybody's down here so Carter Paulette Simon Edmund Kana you guys draft and head down over here and get on on top and Rita you soon moving the dog further away from the bugs than we are so hopefully they will track to the closest enemy, which will be us over here. They're coming out of here. So I think that plan kind of works. Let's go a little bit further. Oh, they're coming fast. Okay, Rita, I think it's time for you to make a run into here. You get into here. Now, I want Paulette to be able to stun them. But you can back up a little bit this time. You can put you right there so that Carter can get into here and we'll say Edmund can get into here and then Kana you and Paulette both didn't care to anything were indifferent didn't care for fighting at all I'm gonna put you over here and Rita I think I've got everybody did I miss anyone besides Rita Rita let's put you over here all right, let's see how that works. So, Edmund, I didn't move. I thought I did. All right, so, Edmund, I guess you just pop right into there for the moment. Or could you... Would you... You might do better over here. You might do better over there. Up over there. Okay. Who's coming after our dog? Our dog is officially where right now? You kind of blend in really well. I don't see you. Are you still in the trees? Or are you in the camp? Pause, unpause. Oh, there you are. 
Pause, unpause to get the music level to go down. All right, you. Boy, I wish I could just tell you to go somewhere. It's kind of a weird mechanic with the dogs. You'd think they would just kind of roam around on their own, but they're just sort of stuck. Hmm. Can't say I'm impressed with that one. Okay. We're moving in. Rita is going to be pretty close getting there in time. All right, we've got... It said miss. I guess Paulette hit and somebody else didn't. These are the red ones. No. Are they? No, you're the big ones. Okay. So, as they come into... Right there. Kana got triggered and we should get Edmund triggered here as well. Though, not going to have a line of sight for very long. It's these red ones are really got to take care of. But, have fun guys. Take them out. Nobody shot at all. All of you guys, take them out. And don't go running over there. Paulette, I circled you too, didn't I? You get up here as soon as you can. All right, stunned you. And keep shooting. But the red guys, we got to take care of. They're going to blow up the fence. Okay. Boy, it's strange to hear the chunk, 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 chunk instead of a, of a gunshot. Yeah, I miss my sni my real gun snipers, that's for sure. All right, so you three. Okay, let's do it this way. That's Simon and Paulette. I don't want to click Rita and have her change her pathing all of a sudden. I need you guys. Hmm. Let's wait a second. There. Attack him. We need to blow him up. And you two. All right, let's... Kana and Edmund. It's hard to click on them while I get everything else. Kana and Edmund. I need you guys as soon as there to hit him. All right. Now, can we stun him? No, we can't. Oh, this is the old fencing. Hmm. Okay, well... Yeah. Paulette? Who have I got there? I've got Simon. You hit here. And Paulette, you hit here if you can. And you two continue shooting there, but we're going to take this down here pretty quick. Oh, destroyed pole fence. Oh, they're in. Okay, so i got to really start watching these footprints over here. Uh, Edmund, you can't shoot for a while. Move over to here. Like that. And you guys, take him out. We blow this one up yet? We did. Uh, explosive is dead. What do we do here? 80 out of 189. 100. You guys are just pounding away at the corner over here. 74. You haven't made it into these yet. So we're good so far. But, yeah, you two need to take him out so close. And I think all four of us are working on this guy. Probably doesn't matter anymore. Well, I guess getting it before he gets to the wooden fences. Okay. Lost harvest. That's fine. Okay, so you go away. Damaged structures. Rotted away. That's dealt with. And that's dealt with. Okay. So, Doggy is over here, and not moving, but nobody is coming to bother you. So they didn't track toward him. Okay, that's good to know. You are stunned. One more shot, then I can release you guys to go and take care of the big ones. Okay, what did you do? 39 of 16, the gate's holding. You are 70, you are 59. Okay. You and you. I want to say get this guy. But these big ones need to be dealt with too. But yeah, go ahead and take him out. That's the last of the little ones over here. Uh, Carter, can you work on him? And Paulette as well. And that is Paulette. Simon... Why don't you come help over here? Head to there. Uh, 
Okay, kind of keeping an eye on things. That was slow speed, or, but it, or normal speed, but it sure felt fast. I want to be able to see if anything's going to knock them off their, their floors here. Okay, can you guys get them? You got them. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Kana, you take out that one. And Simon, you're working on big guy over here. There. Oh, are you alive? You are. Let's see. Rita, I need you over here. Big guy is going to chew that fence up pretty quick. Can you get him? You can. Okay. Are we over here? This is 48 of 70 now. We haven't got through any of the brick. So I'd say that's pretty successful. All right, knocked him out. You're going to take his place. You are. Kana Arita. You're still working on this guy. He hasn't made it through. Is there anybody who cannot reach anything to shoot? Edmund. Could help over here. Why are you aiming out over there? What's over here? Dog is fine. Attack. Will that cycle me through? It will. Hmm. So, was that... Who was that? Carter? I think... Him aiming down to here is the same as looking all the way out over there. I think that's what's going on. I think we're going to see the bullet go straight down. Pretty sure that's what that meant. It looks like he's shooting at something out over there, but he's actually shooting down there. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Okay. How are we doing over here? Everyone's done. You're shooting out over there. That's good. You can no longer... Eh, you might be able to. Okay, you can no longer. Can you go there? You can. We got... We're done. We're done. Okay. Whew. So, can I... I can undraft everyone by holding shift. There we go. Everyone's undrafted. And... Mark the four big ones, the two explosive ones, and all the little ones. 17 for Butcher. And we'll do our, our usual routine of Simon, you grab those. Kana, you grab the four big ones. Uh can't really do that. What if I grab this one? Not assigned to activity. So you are not assigned at all to... What are you not assigned to? What is the activity? Um, hunt. That's considered hunt? I didn't think that was a thing. All right, I'll put you two on fives. Hmm. Try that again, Kana. And there we go. You do those guys. Okay. So, Carter, dive in here and take out uh, two and do another overgrown. Paulette, why don't you go over there and butcher four of those. And Edmund, why don't you grab two of these overgrowns and Rita what is left yeah, I don't think anybody's got the explosive ones yet so you can grab that and that and we'll see what's left butchering 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 okay that's done now while they're doing that let's grab all of these and cancel orders and remove okay and all the rest of those I think that's what's selected. We can deconstruct. I didn't accidentally get a floor or anything. Okay, good. Now, as far as repair, uh, repair is still there. Okay. Oh, the noise. 
all <laughs> oh, the butchering. Okay, there's already a transporting. So, Edmund, why don't you come over and find something else to butcher? That one right there, and that one right there. So you work on those. Anybody else transporting yet? Butchering, butchering. Claim to be better at darts and Kana. We have a starving animal. Okay, I guess we have to deal with that soon. Everybody transport what's left. And then Rita, I want you to work on feeding our pooch over here. And now... I wonder if... Okay, Rita, let's work on your uh, activities. Let's make ranching Rita. There you are. So ranching is taming, leading, and training of animals. Refilling of animal feeders. Okay, so make that a one. And Pooch, we're going to lead you, apparently, to here. Can I assign this? Do you can assign owner? There we go. Maybe that's the spot, the thing we've been missing. All right, so all that meat came in. A lot of meat soup coming up. A lot of fuel to be dealt with. Meat is 100. There's got to be more meat than that. Got to be. Is it somewhere else? Okay, what am I missing here? Meat. 256. It's just... The way it's moving around, I can't tell what is what. Where's There's more meat in the, the fridge that's not working yet. Oh, that's going to work real well. Boy, that doesn't give us much room, does it? You are raw food and cooked meals. Mm, okay, and of the raw foods, I can see meat as being important. And cooked meals, quick tasties and others, no emergency foods. So, okay, but really, four slots, that's all we get? That's a lot of equipment for four slots. That's why the, uh, the freezer room is such a better idea. Rita's transporting 150... No, 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 no. You are not getting glitter caps. Not happening. And is a dog not a carnivore? Or is a dog an omnivore? You're not getting pickled, not getting those, you're not getting those. Hay? Yeah, um, what do we have the most of? Bush fruits, 1,500. Pumpkins, 800. We'll go that route. And... A hay is considered an herbivore's food. Okay, for the olfen, I can see that. Slop is probably more of what we're dealing with here. Blended mixture of random ingredients mainly used for feeding animals. Tastes so bad that one can hardly distinguish what is inside, but it has a long shelf life. We need to start making slop. Okay, let's just turn herbivore food off. Rita is idling. Well, just because I'm paused. And let's turn slop on. Okay, so over here. Let's go with the insect meats for now. Not even that. Go with our dried meats. Mm, boy, it's hard to choose. Okay. So Rita, let's have you haul these back. Good try, but that's not going to happen. Now, did Pooch get fed? Fo Pooch is eating. Six. I assume it's counting down. And Pooch happiness. I'm not seeing a sense of fattening. Determined by its consumption of food. When an animal eats, it gains weight and becomes more plump. That's probably for, like, yeah, for slaughtering. Okay. Happiness. Output when butchered. That doesn't help. 
Hmm, I'm looking for how hungry they are. Hmm, okay. Transporting old equipment. Okay, there's a lot of things happening here. Insufficient materials, so we are cutting... Oh, we're tearing fences down. Okay. Old equipment, what does this mean? Um, specifically, Simon? We've hit the 50% mark, or less. Ah, okay. So we've got to get more clothes made. Oh, so many things to do. <laughs> oh, I want Kana skilling up, but she is so good at crafting. She is. Kana, when you're done... Okay, you are fullness and relaxation. Yeah, you're eating right now. When you're done eating, let's get you to... The spear apparently got made. Not enough resources. What was it we needed for the spear? Uh, not enough resources. Wooden scrap. We just don't have enough wood. Okay. Eventually, we're going to get you a spear. But for the moment... Hello. What are you doing here? Because we know who you are, you just moved in like a pet? That's different. Um, Kana, when you're done, I want you to start making trousers. Yeah, let's get some pants made. And then we'll work on shirts after that. Uh, so, toss you. Damage structures 15. And so, I... Carter is here. He's handling... Oh, Edmund. Let's get you just to continue deconstructing and deconstructing and deconstructing. Let's get those going on. So much for getting out to do the ore. Try that another day. And... What is that? Nothing. Oh, and going out and getting the other stuff. Simon, whatever you're doing, I really need this leather brought in, if it still exists, right there. Can you haul hides? All right, for those rot. Can I see if they are rotting? Hides. Choose you. I don't get any pop-up. Okay. So, you're going to haul that in real quick. Yeah, it's dark at 1800. Alright. <laughs> All the logs we keep popping in here. Carter, what are you doing right now? You are handling. So, everyone's kind of gone back to handling. And we're not getting our other jobs done anymore. Got to rethink handling. It really needs to be down to just one or two people. I think that's what it is. Carter, I need to make that a three so you can get back to constructing. Rita, I need you back to harvesting and planting. Simon could do it because he's nearby. Uh, Edmund, you could be doing mining and all the other things if you can get away from the handling. So you as well. And Kana's going to be nearby. So Kana, Paulette, and Simon are probably going to be centered in here for a while so they can handle all of the handling. Don't have a lot of handling jobs out there. We didn't put torches out through the gardens this time, for example. So Edmund is repairing. Thank you. Perfect. And that should be the only two to repair, right? They didn't get into the structure anywhere else. Oh, there's bricks to repair. So what does it take to repair a bricks two of two? So we have to... Yeah, he brought wood to repair that. So we have to bring... He's probably bringing bricks right now. I wish I could see what he's carrying, but... Yeah. Or else the bricks have already been delivered. Okay. So he's going to make short order of that. Two taps and one tap and he's done. So repairs are done. Um, let's go ahead and set this fence in real quick. There. There. And there, there, and there. And probably can't... Okay. You, you didn't have another pile of bricks in your pocket, I see. Okay. So you're going to go find some more bricks. Kana is tailoring. Good. And she's almost done. So when she finishes that first one, that should take her off of the duty. So 
so she can go get done whatever she needs to. But that gets a pair of pants on the shelf. I'm seeing shoes. I'm seeing a stocking cap. I'm not seeing pants. Remember that first playthrough, we kept finding pants in our uh, in our ship over there. I got two brand new pair of pants came out of that. Oh, she's training. Okay. Now, can you, when you're done training, can you lead? And go ahead and take him home. Or will he return to his own bed on his own now that it is marked? Change owner. Owner. Okay. I have to wait and see how the, what happens tonight at 2300 or whatever. Okay, so tailoring's almost done. Constructing a fence. Making food. Constructing a diesel generator. Oh, it'll be great to see that this episode. That will finish this off, won't it? Training's over there, having fun. Bump. Oh, I just got a pop-up. Electrifying. Okay, so... It didn't connect. When I set that here, there was a cord going to this, and so I thought this would power that pole and that, and this would power this pole and all of this. You're going to put off 50. Let's kind of figure things out here. Consumption is 10 because we're only connected to there. Okay. Let's make a new pole that can hopefully connect everything, including the generator. You will not connect to the generator. Generator connects over there. He's already connected once, and that's considered all I'm going to get. Okay. Okay. So, it's a matter of, I guess, what looks the best. I think that works. Can I even go further? No. Right there is the first one that connects out over that way. I was thinking the further I can get this way, the further closer I can get up the hill up here. But for now, we'll go right there. And Edmund is constructing a wooden power pole. That is your last job of the day. We want to see that happen. Otherwise, as far as I know, everything is going to, by default, be set to no circuit control. What was that? I see the thunder. We've got a, another volcano exploding somewhere. Which means we might get to see our lightning rods in action. Boy, that was quite a rumble. Hmm. Okay, we are leading home. Good. And we'll later see how this works. There's all of our bug meat. Boy, that's a lot. That's too much. It's going to rot before long. Thunderstorm. Yeah, I might want to manually do that. We could turn that into fuel. That was, that was my plan. That really was my plan. Maybe I will... Hmm... Let's do that. You, let's say, we'll, we'll just manually feed for a while. We'll just try to make that happen. So that is a no. I want to get someone like Paulette. You're, you're not busy at the moment. Can you access that to liquid fuel reached? Okay, let's tell, let's do this again. Liquid fuel, let's toss two into each of those. Okay. Paulette, can you ferment? Can you get enough out of there? You're going here. There's only 56 in there. Okay. And who else? Simon. You will have... Oh, you're eating. Kana's transporting... Something. Sticks. As soon as you drop those off... And now you're sending 10 back to here. Okay. We'll stop in a second. Okay. I want you to do the other one. Liquid. And you're going back to that same place. These are 100 a piece, right? Materials for this. Oh, it's 50 each. I thought it was 100. Okay. Well, you're not going to get... You're only going to get 6 out of there. Hmm. Let's set this. I want the bug meat to go to 
uh, fuel. Let's set three of those in each one. Okay. So that is done. We want fuel to be able to make the next trip. Ah, we're going to load this up. So we could make a trip tomorrow. We could send Edmund out one more time. Or we could send um, um, Rita out. Maybe she'll observe something. But right at the moment, Edmund, you didn't finish your job, did you? Where are you at? You went to bed? Dude, can you please construct a wooden power pole? Where are you right now? Yeah, grab the wood and bring it in. Let's make this happen. Come on, I'm trying to put on a show here. All right, so Kana is grabbing it out of here. Okay, good. And she grabbed all of it, too. So she'll put the rest on a shelf somewhere. Okay. So Paulette's going to sleep. Kana is handling the fermentation barrel. She's putting the rest away. Uh, loaded with 50. So, Paulette, can you finish that job for her? Reserve by Kana. So, Kana, now you can haul. And Paulette can flip the switch. I'm so confused. You can't do it. I don't know. You took it all. Oh, Kana. Okay. All right. I give up. I give a. <laughs> Let's just sit here and see if any lightning strikes us before we go to bed tonight. Yeah, Edmund, why don't you go work on that power pole in a lightning storm? Was this a horrible idea? Should I hit save right now? I don't think there's a control S in the game, but... All right. Bang that thing together real quick and get out of there. Are we connected? We are connected. Signal rocket? Huh? And it's so noisy. I want to have it on pause. Pause on pause? No. Nope. Signal rocket. Ah, flare. A flare rises through the sky. It must be another survivor needing help. I never dreamed we could have seven survivors in this game. Wow. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, tomorrow we are going to go and rescue somebody else. We are never going to have enough bedrooms. There's no way. Oh. Even temporarily, where do we put someone? Okay, well, we'll figure that one out tomorrow, but I want to... Actually, I think I'm going to stop right here. We'll start up in the storm next time. This recording is already... Whoa, hour 15. It's gotten quite long. Okay, next time we'll wait to see if lightning hits us. I want to see what happens. I want to see if all the lights suddenly get really bright or something when lightning strikes our, our uh, right there, lightning rod. Anyway, let's call this one done. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.